Hi everyone, video solution to a GMAT problem solving practice question. This question is from permutation combination combinatrix. Concept is selecting few letters out of the letters of this word Mediterranean and then reordering them based on a constraint mentioned in the question. A very interesting question, right? It's not a straightforward rearrangement question to that extent. How many four letter words can be formed? The words need not be meaningful, obviously. Using the letters of the word Mediterranean such that the first letter is E and the last letter is R. Right. Let's start with this word Mediterranean as it is given. We'll go to the constraint in a while. Mediterranean. Okay. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's a 13 letter word. Right. That's what Mediterranean is all about. In this, we are saying that the constraint is the first letter should be an E and the last letter should be an R. So, I'm going to pick one E, one R. Write it here. E is the first letter, R is the last letter. I need two more letters because what we are framing are essentially four letter words using the letters of this word Mediterranean. So, if two have been taken out, we are left with 11. Let's check out the composition of this 11. Whatever 11 is left, 11 left. This 11 composition is we have one M Okay, so I'm just putting a tick mark here. One D, I'm going to take that, right? One I, done. One T, done. Okay, how many E's are left? I have two E's, right? These are all a count of one. Counts of two, essentially I have two E's. So I'll take these two, two E's. I have how many R's? Only one R left because there are a total of two R's. One R has already been taken. So count of one, M, D, I, T, we have R also appearing once. E appears twice. And then we have taken this R. A appears twice. I'll take this. So that is two A's. And N appears twice. Right. Check out whether the addition makes sense. M, D, I, T are five letters. Three of these letters appearing twice, which is six. Six plus five is equal to 11. This is what we have. Now, from these 11 letters, we need to select two letters and place them in this place. How many ways can it happen? First case is basically case one. Let me say it is E, R. And this place is essentially filled by letters which are appearing twice. Which are all the letters which are appearing twice? E, A, N. So it could essentially be E, E, A, A, N, N. There are only three such possibilities which exist. E is the first letter. R is the last letter. You're filling the second and third with letters that repeat. So that would essentially be E, E, A, A, N, N. Done. So three such letters, three such rearrangements are possible. Case two is basically you start with E, you end with R. These two are, I'll call it as L1, L2, essentially signifying that these two are two distinct letters. Now let's check out how many distinct letters do we have. On the face of it, it appears we have five, M, D, I, T, R. But hold on, if you get one M and one E, that would still be two distinct letters. One D and one A, distinct letters. One E and one A, distinct letters. So how many distinct letters do we see out of these 11? Barring these three which repeat once, if you remove the repeat counter or if we count them as appearing one each because we're going to take them as two distinct letters, M, D, I, T, R, E, A, N are eight distinct letters that we find. Basically pick one for this slot, right, which can be in any of the eight ways. I pick one for this from the remaining seven. So eight into seven, 56 such possibilities exist where the second and third letters are two distinct letters. So 56 of this where the second and third letters are two distinct letters, right? So it can still be E, E, A, R, perfectly all right. E is repeating. But what we're interested in, how do the second and third position alone work out? They are two distinct ones out of the eight. So it is 8P2 or 8 into 7, 56 ways. The two are same, which is like E, E, A, A, uh, N, N, that's three. So total of how many different combinations are possible? How many different rearrangements are possible? We'll have 59, 3 plus 56, 59 four-letter words, which start with an E, and N with an R from the letters of the word Mediterranean. So adding these two, 59 is the answer. Let's look at the answer options. Answer options, 59 is choice A.